Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. In this week's video, I am going to take you through my custom made cabinet in my bedroom loft and I'm going to show you how I categorize all my clothes. I had a very specific plan going into my tiny house, so I specifically planned for six drawers to be a certain length, certain size, um, and I practiced this in my apartment for about a year before I went tiny. So I'm doing laundry right now and I figured because I'm going to be filling up the drawers, why not do a video? to show you when all of them are filled. So I'm actually gonna go pick up my laundry right now and I'm gonna take you guys with me and then we're gonna come back and organize my bedroom cabinet. Okay, I have about three minutes before my laundry is done so I'm just sitting here in my golf cart by the laundry facility in the campground. Okay. Got my laundry and we are headed back. And this is where I parked my golf cart. The first thing we are going to do, or the first thing I am going to do, is bring my clothes upstairs, dump them on the bed, and then I'm gonna fold them before I get started in putting everything away in these drawers right here because that's what the video is about. This is the mess of clothes that I have to roll or fold or hang up. And a lot of times I wait to do my laundry for two or three weeks. As you guys can see, I am standing in my loft. I do not have much room. Once I step up this 14 inches, this is all the room that I have to work with. So while opening these drawers, and stuff while like this, it kind of, it hurts my back a little bit. And that's why in the video that you could see right here, I think it was 10 things that I would change is I would put a reverse loft in, I would do a reverse loft. So I would put my bedroom downstairs and maybe put my office upstairs. What I do is I get on my knees and I don't touch the ceiling and now I open the drawers and I'm able to do that. Something to think about when you get your tiny house. This is the bad boy we are going to be talking about. This is a custom made cabinet built by my builder and his team. I got this for foldable clothes, rollable clothes, underwear, socks, bras, shorts, tank tops, anything that didn't need to be hung up. So we are going to start with my underwear drawer. I have 47 pairs of underwear. Again, I am a hoarder, so I tend to buy things that are on sale. So we, what we're gonna do is take these underwear over here and put them in this spot. So this is exactly where all my underwear go. This is in preparation for wearing period panties instead of pads, but I have not started wearing them yet because I don't know if I can get used to them right now. Bathing suits back there. I've got pantyhose just in case. I've got another bathing suit. And this drawer is pretty much done. Looks like we do have a little bit of room extra there, um, which maybe means I can buy another 10 pairs of underwear. I'm kidding. As I open my second drawer, which is the bra drawer, I am automatically starting to see where I have started to put things out of place. So this is a pillowcase. The pillowcases do not belong in my bra drawer, but I didn't have a place for it, or maybe I was lazy and I didn't want to put it downstairs, so I shoved it in this drawer. And then when I open it, it's out of place, it doesn't look right, I can't, well I can find stuff but I choose not to look through the stuff because there's a pillowcase on top of it so we're gonna take that out same with bras I have a ton of bras um, I, I buy everything on sale and all I I used to wear wire bras and now I wear you know sports bras which are very comfortable much more comfortable than the wire bras let's count my bras we're gonna actually take some of this out here and clean some of it because I do not wear some of this stuff like I wish we didn't even have to wear bras <laughs> again mindset of a hoarder but I prepared to have room for these. Everything fits in this drawer, even my socks. I've got all my socks on this side, all the bras on this side, and moving on to the bottom. These are my LuLaRoe leggings and my regular leggings. Now we're going to introduce a couple more because we just did laundry. There's not much room. So what I have been doing with these LuLaRoe things, these are all leggings. And what I do is I roll these in order for them to fit in here better. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Still have two more over here underneath the leggings. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 
Yeah, I smush them, smush, smush them in there. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna show you guys how those are folded. It's not really, just take it in half, start at the top and just roll. Make sure you take it and pull it so that you're pulling out any wrinkles because wrinkles do matter when you're putting it in a drawer and it's all supposed to fit. This is my tank top drawer. In my old apartment, I planned on bringing tons and tons of tank tops because basically I wear them every day over my bra, so I have a lot of tank tops. I categorize them in colors, so I've got whites and creams here, blacks right here, some grays right here, and then I've got greens, pinks, blues, teals, and all of that. So I color code them just because I'm super organized. So I'm gonna, these are all the ones that we need to put back in there. I wear mostly black, so I feel white gets dirty too often, but then again, the black gets all these little hairs on it. See, look at all those hairs. It's like a tons of little hairs, but whatever. I mean, it is what it is. We are going to put these back here. And then I have one for demonstration for folding. These are tank tops and I just take them by the straps. Make sure they're, all the wrinkles are out. Fold it like this, start at the top. You can either put these out or in. I just put them in and I start to roll them, pulling out any wrinkles along the way. Try to make sure these are not damp when you put them in the drawer because they might mold. And then this is last but not least, it goes up there. And then you have your categorized tank tops. I also have another one that I'm gonna do. I do wear a lot of these, and if I wasn't able to do laundry for some reason, I have enough clothes to go through and enough variety. Voila. Moving on to the next drawer, which I designated for shorts. When I open it, I automatically see a pair of pants in here that I shoved in there because I didn't have room for it anywhere else. I don't even like these pants. And there are also another pair of pants that I don't like that I found in this drawer that I had to take out earlier. So actually we are going to this. There's a lot of, see these are workout shorts. I put them in the regular shorts drawer, which is fine. This is a shirt that goes with it. Here's some more. So we're going to categorize these again because it seems like because I have not worked with this since this last summer, uh, I'm going to fix it up now. Okay, now you could either take your shorts and fold them or you can roll them. See, all these clothes may be able to go downstairs, but... Okay, I'm actually going to take these workout shorts out and put them in my underwear drawer because we had extra room in there. See, obsessed. I buy one thing and I have to have a color of every single one. That is the life of a hoarder. I do it with shirts, flip-flops, tank tops, anything, everything. Ooh, I like those pants. I need to have one of every one. It's crazy. It's very challenging and you have to work on it if you're an ex-hoarder and you move into a small space. Shadow! Shadow! Where's she going? What do you want? Is that your new home? Come on, come on. Come on, wanna go in there? <laughs> Hi! Jump! Come on, where's she? All right, now I'm gonna put these in here. They're bigger. And then I'm gonna put these, which are smaller, all my small shorts on the other side. So it's easier for me. So I know where they're at and my jean shorts I'll keep on top. And then these are like jumpers and jumper short sets. So I'm gonna put these on this side and this drawer is pretty much done. So I'm gonna take these now and see if I can put them. I sure can. I'm gonna move my bathing suit to the back of here and all of these can simply go in there fits just fine. I don't need anything under here. My underwear over here. Don't need the bathing suit and everything fits. Woo! Moving on to the last drawer, which is basically my shorts and jeans drawer. Not so much jeans, but capri jeans. I keep my jeans hanging downstairs. So in fact, we're going to take these put them in the jean shorts drawer. So these are all jean shorts. These are extra jeans. I don't wear them. All of these I do not wear, but you know what? They belong downstairs. So, oh my gosh. Oh yeah. These are the capris, capris, capris. These are jeans. I'm just going to keep them in here because there's honestly no room downstairs on the hanging uh, closet rack to put these. And then these three shorts. So, woo! That was some work. One last thing that I need to mention. I have a friend that views my 
YouTube channel and she requested that I show in a video how I roll t-shirts. Okay, so we are going to roll this t-shirt. First thing we are going to do is we are going to fold the bottom up about four inches. So you'll wanna fold it up and then you'll wanna turn it inside out and do the same with the bottom. And then smooth it out, smooth all the wrinkles out. And then we are going to put the sleeves in at a diagonal, folding them in. Then we're gonna take this and fold it in halfway. Take this and fold it in halfway. And then we're going to take it from the other side from the neck and roll it down. Make sure to take out any of those wrinkles by pulling the sides. And then when we get to the top, we're gonna take this and put it around our shirt. And there is a stain from my hair dye. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm not kidding, but. There is a rolled t-shirt that you can put in your drawers. Again, I don't wear t-shirts much, so this was downstairs in my closet, so I didn't even have it in my drawers, but if you do plan on wearing t-shirts, then that is a folding technique, and you can line them all up in your drawers. I don't have an example, so I can't really show you, so yeah. <laughs> If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and click that notifications bell so you can receive a notification every time I post a new video, which is every Sunday. Thanks so much for watching guys. See you in the next video. In this week's video, I am going to be, why does this always happen to me? Because I start without having a plan sometimes. What are you doing up there? Sorry. So if,